Hi guys, welcome back to Graduating and Confused. I am Alex, if you didn't know. Today I am doing my January favorites. What? It's not February yet. Why are you doing your January favorites, Alex? Well, because I want to be different and I'm going to do them before the end of the month because I'm just doing them now because I know they won't change and I have ideas for February. So I thought I might as well do this now while I have everything here. So starting with skin care, I have a whole one product. Ooh. It is the Garnier Garnier Skin Natural mm, Mixella Cleansing Water. Well, I said that wrong. It's all in one. It's suitable for all skin type even moods, makeup, cleanser, smooth and smooths. I love this so much for removing my makeup. I do just use this for my face makeup because I have a eye makeup but when I'm being lazy I will just use this and it's amazing, doesn't leave my skin irritated like some no smell. Moving on to makeup, I have a few makeup items. So I'm gonna start with face. I have two face products, they're both benefit and they're both um, sample sizes because for Christmas from my auntie, my uncle and my cousin they gave me like a sample pack of like the 10 most popular um, benefit items so we have, as you see, I have the Paul Fashional which I have been, oh my holy girl product, I will be buying the full size of this, it's just amazing, it makes my skin feel so smooth and everything is great when I use this product. It's just a primer. My next item is Benefit Stay Don't Stray, which is an eyeshadow and concealer primer, but it has some colour in it. So sometimes when I'm just doing like a very, when I'm not doing much makeup, I'll use this just as my concealer because it does give me enough coverage under my eyes so I can get away with it. Talking about eyes. I'm talking about mascara and I have two mascaras because I use I use these together as like a combination. So the first mascara I use is the Kirk Land Signature by Paul Geese. Yes. Lash Define Mascara in Brown. So the brush is like it's like very almost clumpy I would say. But it works to treat I like lengthening my eyelashes which is good because I don't have the biggest eyelashes in the world. But it's not very good volume, which is why I use the Avon Daring Definition Mousse mascara, I think. It's very, very faded. And the wand just looks like that. A very thin wand and this is in the shade black this is what I use on top of the other one to give my eyelashes more volume now my final makeup product is something I've had for a while now this is a repurchase which I don't do very often especially on lipstick it is Ulta 3 002 vintage rose it just looks like that a very pretty rose pink it's what I'm wearing my lips today tube of this it's just a very it's not shimmer but it has like a gloss to it I would say it's very pretty uh, it's actually a cheap brand it's I'm not sure if it's sold anywhere else but a shade probably New Zealand if anywhere and you can just find these at like the farmers chemist in like the cheap bin I think this was only like three dollars or something and it has really good pigmentation and it lasts a very long time and it's just a really good lipstick for the price anyway like I've had crappy uh, quality lipsticks for higher prices so very good the only fashion item would be this necklace which I got from Chris for Chris and it is from my auntie and my uncle from Colette just a pretty necklace that I've been wearing a lot and probably this top as well this top is from my cousin I'm not sure what shop it is I think it's a shop down in Sydney maybe she lives in Sydney 
just really pretty. I like the de the detail around this area and like the little bow. So those are my two fashion outfits and I'm wearing them. To movies, I have one movie this month. It is The Grand Budapest Hotel. And I just love it, so it's not really. And this is just so good. I like the way it's filmed. It's filmed in an unusual way. It's like, it's almost like jumpy. And I found it really good. I found it funny. And it's just a really good movie. It's one of those movies where it's such an interesting like story to it. It's very original. Well, the book is, obviously. And yeah, so this is my movie of the month. For TV shows, I have two TV shows, none of which I own. One of them is a show and one of them is American. I've watched them both so much over the holidays. So the first one is, it is called Upper Middle Bogan. It's an Australian ABC show that is about this mid 30 doctor who has her life turned upside down when she finds out she's adopted. And I love it and it's such an Australian show but it, Australian shows have this thing where we like to make fun of ourselves. Some shows can do it really badly, this show does it perfectly and I'm just waiting for season three. My second show is a show everyone should know because if you don't know it, it is Parks and Recreation. What? What? I'm so excited that season seven is out. So I watched, I binged watched season three to season six, two weeks, so 14 days it took me. I watched season three in a three day span with my sister who owned the DVD. So that was awesome. Then I just came home and I watched four, five and six. Love it. I am a spiritually, I'm like a mix of Andy and April. I'm like their child and both of them. But then I love Ron and I want to be Leslie. Just songs. I have a lot of songs. Just opening up. I have songs that are like, oh yeah, that's not. If you know me, you're like, oh yeah, whatever. But one of them is actually an old song, but I found it again and I love it. So that's one of the songs I've been loving. This is a Christmas song, but it's not really. And I just love it. This is a song that like people who know the band is like, oh that's the most popular song. I've just found this band, so I'm loving this. And this is it's the same band who wrote. So yes, those are my songs that I was surprised about. And the songs I'm like, the why wouldn't I? Oh. You see, oh you. Then my time Books! Two books! Book one! Yes please, Amy Paula. I've not finished it yet, but I love it so much. I'm almost done. Love the photos, love everything about it, and going on with my parts and wrecks. Obsession. Whoop! Book two. Very hungry caterpillar. What? You're 17 years old, Alex. Why the hell are you reading with a very hungry caterpillar? This is not just your average very hungry caterpillar. This is a special very hungry caterpillar. It's a card. Let me read the card. Dear Alex, wishing you a very happy Christmas and New Year. Best wishes for best wishes and every success for the future. You will be missed from Panola Four. It's from my form. Also, you just got. A very hungry caterpillar and why is it special why is it special photo 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 and hello it's my childhood and it's like a representative of me I'm always hungry let me read you some 
Look how cute I was. That's a baby. Baptism. And then that's my formal photo. Look at my curls. And then this one is me at my final house assembly. YouTubers, I have four. But don't worry, they're all one. It is the Ballinger family. That means Rachel Ballinger, Colleen Ballinger, Christopher Ballinger, and I'm including Joshua because he's pretty much a Ballinger. They are amazing. I love them so much. I already loved Miranda because, hello, how could you not love Miranda? But then I started watching Colleen. I love Colleen Gunner. I love Colleen. Then I started watching Rachel because of Colleen's vlogmas. Then I fell in love with Rachel. And then, then I started watching Christopher because he was in a lot of vlogs. And then I was watching Joshua because he's never not in a vlog. And I love them all very much. I love them because I love their personalities. I think that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe because it puts a smile on my face. Maddie, see you later. Bye!